There we go. <laughs> we exist. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Let's start with the important part. Can you guys hear us first and foremost? We need an audio check. Test, test. Can you hear me? Everything looked good on our end when we started, so. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of a setup change. Yeah. 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 So let us know. Th throw a comment in there. I see Caleb's on. Come on, Caleb. Help us out. Can you guys hear us okay? What do we got? What's that say? It's yelling at us. StreamYard's yelling at us right now. It's almost like we haven't done this in a while. <laughs> uh, Jim Belletti's on here. Hi, Jim. Hey, Jim. How you doing, sir? All right. Well, it looks like we got an okie dokie to everything's working okay. And we just want to say thank you to Adrian and Ruth. They're our moderators. RV Life with Adrian and Ruth. They're more than moderators. Yes. They're getting to come to the Southern Alley Road. Yes, they are. And they're just freaking awesome people, right? Like, that's the most important part of it. It is. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, what? well, welcome. It's been like three months since we've been live. This is just ridiculous. It's been too long. So let's start with the most important update we have and the best news ever. Our daughter. Yes. So our daughter had brain surgery November 16th, yes. this past November, and pretty scary. The tumor grew really big in her head and they were able to extract it. Yep. Now, post-surgery, it's been more than three months now and she's doing fantastic. That's right. 100% removal of the tumor. She went in for her 90-day MRI and everything showed clear. Uh, no more tumor on the pituitary gland and she's recovering quite well. It's a slow recovery, but she's recovering quite well. So super excited about yeah, that. Blood work looks great. Everything looks, looks great. I mean, she, of course, she has some good bad days. Mm -hmm. uh, and then she just had a birthday yesterday, so we took her to Magic Kingdom. 23, y'all. Good Lord, I'm getting old. <laughs> 23. I know you are getting old. Right. Well, I mean, since we're talking about old, I'm going to call out our friend Mark, Mark Page. Oh. <laughs> so if y'all don't haven't noticed, I've got a little bit of decorations courtesy of Uncle Sam. I've got hearing aids now. Martha has known I was deaf, but she always thought it was spousal induced deafness. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an married, official term? Married hearing. Yes. Uh, no, I. Courtesy of Uncle Sam lost my hearing pretty significantly in my left ear and my right ear. And finally, I listened to my wife, mark it down, y'all. I listened and went and got my hearing checked and uh, found out that, yeah, I am really fling in depth. And hearing aids are now my magic ears. And I'm very, very excited about it. Now, what does that have to do with Mark Page? So we were at a event that we'll talk about a little bit later. And Mark was making fun of myself and Charles, another Alliance owner. In a loving and daring way. Right, because we, were playing, because we were playing on our cell phones with our hearing aid apps, and he looked at both of us and said, oh, the papas are playing with their hearing aids. It was really sweet because our friend Charles was showing Chris how you can change settings in the app, which is really cool because uh, hearing aids have come a long way. And the biggest struggle for Chris to not get hearing aids was something uh, with the older versions. Yeah, absolutely. It, it was something that uh, for me, just I was just frustrated. I didn't want it. You know, I'm I'm in my mid forties, y'all. I'm not trying to be deaf, but hey, I'm gonna rock them. <laughs> well, and it's, it's a safety thing as well because we've had some noises go off in our well when we had our Valor, our toy hauler from Alliance, and Chris could hear it and I could, and it was frustrating. Him, so you've got to speak up, Miss Darling. You're you are not getting loud enough for the people's because ah. I'm watching the monitor because we've upgraded. I know, look at us being bougie. <laughs> no, I want to make sure that, one, I'm not screaming because uh, somebody called me out on our last live. It's like, oh, my God, you're so loud. Let's see if she's on here. <laughs> Hi, Norma. <laughs> <laughs> so loud. <laughs> so we kind of, we trial and error, we just figure things out. Right. So we we have upgraded the DJI mics, uh, DJI mic twos. We put in these little stands, kind of like a... Uh, what would you call it, a podcast standard for the lives to make sure that we have a better presentation. So let's address the other elephant in the room. That's not our RV. Where's, why? What are we got going on? Huh. Yeah, that's not our RV. <laughs> oh, I guess you better stick around to the end because Venturesome Couples got some really, really monumentally big news coming mm -hmm. at the end of this live that is going to forever change what we're doing. 
in this same clickbait, y'all. Okay. Now let's see who's here. So hello, Jeremy and Brian. Where, where's everyone watching from? Right? Yeah. Oh, I see Danny P. Photography's on there. Uh -huh. mm, the official photographer of the Southern Alley Rally. Mm -hmm. We'll be talking about that in a little bit, too. Yes. And then Scott's on here. And then Tulsa Live. Hey, guys. Hey, those are our friends right there. Yeah, we're looking forward to coming seeing you guys. Yeah, we got to we gotta go somewhere to go get something, and then we'll talk, and we'll come up and visit you. And you guys know what we're talking about. <laughs> And then Amp took lamps on here. Hey, guys. Hey, that's our friends. Yeah, we gave them a tour of a couple of the Alliance, um, the Ballot 42B13 and the Dual Suites. DS doesn't stand for Dual Suites. It stands it stand for Dang Sexy. I'll be PC about it. Yes. Because <laughs> we're live and Martha can't beat me. No, I can't censor him right now. Normally, she'd be like. But I can kick his leg under the table. But you might take Callie because she's right underneath us too. Our favorite little travel baby. <laughs> so okay. who else we got on? So we have Curtis. Hey, hey. RV plus three. What's up, y'all? Hello, Sue. How are you doing? Our good friend Norma, of course. Good Richard. Hey, Richard. And he's watching from Southern Ohio at Big Bear Creek. Oh, nice. Do you guys have any snow up there in Ohio right now, or are you guys in decent weather? The spring sprung. Let us know. If you're stuck in the snow so hard, let us know because we do feel for you. We spent most of our life in the frozen tundra. Oh, Sonia <laughs> uh -oh. Curl. The curls are at Fort Wilderness. That's one of our favorite campgrounds. I'll have to venture some couple. <laughs> Come over some s'mores and kick it with Mickey. Yes, we love Fort Wilderness. <laughs> we'll have to stay in the cabin. Oh. Oh. Mm. Hi, Siri. Long time no see. What? I know. Nice. So, Siri, we know she's my fellow Alaskan. Oh, gee, way we're, back. She knew a venturesome couple before we were a venturesome couple. Yes. Back when we were trying to do this, we were going to start out with this. Oh, God, here we go. I'm going down a rabbit hole, y'all. Hold Bear on. With us. Bear with us. So when we first started this whole, we want to go on social media and, and kind of share our crazy life and all the stupid things we do. And so y'all don't make the same mistakes we do. Uh, we started out as Journey with the Peters. Yes. And we realized that that's a lot of words and letters. Yes, that was a lot of work, but somewhere in Canada at the uh, the forest, the sign forest, there's a journey with the Peter sign up there. If any of you, <laughs> if any of you ever go to the sign forest in Canada and you find the sign we put up with Journey with the Peters, we will hook you up with a swag bag like you've never seen. You go tag yourself. I promise you, you will be hooked up beyond belief if you can find it. I will put the short out because I still have it. Well, that's too easy. No, 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 no. The short out of us putting the sign up there. But don't show them where. No. But it's in the sign forest in Canada. Well, but the sign forest is pretty big, so. Anybody ever wants a hookup, mm -hmm. I promise you, you take a selfie, you tag us in it, and you call us out. We will take <laughs> care of you beyond belief on that sign forest. So what do we got going on over there? I see a whole bunch of yeah. popping up. Let's see. Forever Arvine is on. Hey, guys. Hey. Let's see. And Scott says, Jackie Lee and I dodging thunderstorms in Tampa. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's thundering out here. We're in Davenport and it's rumbling and lightning. So we were a little concerned going live. But hey, what better to do in a thunderstorm than go live and hang out with our community? That's good Absolutely. stuff. Well, since you already said we're in Davenport, we're at our home base. So. Well, that's obvious by the big mm, sign that's not on a RV wall. <laughs> so those are lightsabers. We would turn them on, but Callie will lose her bananas. Mm hmm. Because she wants to find them. Yes, she does, because they make noise <laughs> and she can't figure it out. Oh, thank you, Gonzo Book. What? Oh. That is awesome. They're Put that up there and so we so people know what we're talking about here. Show that. That is awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. That goes towards Callie's Frosty Paw Fund. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for the babies. Yeah. Okay. All right. So the reason we're actually at our home base, we're going to go a little bit out of order. We have this beautiful little outline, and I'm going to throw it out the window as usual. <laughs> So the reason we're at our home base right now is that we took our RV up to Elkhart, Indiana. It went up there for a mani pedi. Well, we had a transport take it. Well, that's because we have no flinging time. <laughs> no, we got so busy. So it needs a, it needs some warranty work done. Yeah. And obviously, we just don't have a lot of time to do it. We went right from uh, spending the holidays with our daughter. Yep. But we did a lot of spring cleaning, some mods on our rig. Of course. And that's then, kind of our thing. Day after Christmas, we've 
we drove the RV all the way to Galveston, Texas, and we spent oh my almost God. a week there with, uh, was it 20 other rigs? It was 20 other Alliance owners. Somebody's got a connection somewhere because they managed to reserve the entire loop of the state park in Galveston Island. So it was 20 um, Alliance RVs in a circle and it was all of us. And it wasn't a rally, it was literally a gathering as you can see here, such an amazing time. There was only one thing though we learned about this uh, event in beautiful Galveston, Texas. When it rains, it floods. And I'm not joking, like if you guys seen the, uh, the reel and the shorts that Martha put out about this, I had to carry Callie out of our front door of our RV because her little diva butt was like, nope, I'm not doing it. She walked out, looked down, was like, nope, carry me. She would not go because we had like almost, I'd say about three inches of water, two inches of water, but it was the whole um, RV site was yeah. flooded. It covered our little crop shoes on our stairs. That's why they're waterproof. Mm -hmm. That's why we got this. Yeah. So if you ever get a chance to go to the Galveston Island State Park, um, mm -hmm. we liked it. Just know that there's no sewer hookups. But it was a cool event, and we had a lot of fun. And that's where I got picked on my little paw paw ears. <laughs> yeah, and it was a gathering, so we spent the New Year's there. Fun part, I didn't put a picture up, but I did on our social media. Uh, oh they told God. us to dress as what we remembered from the '70s. We were born in the late 70s, so guess what? We wore onesies, a bib, and we had little ring pops for pacifiers. A massive bottle, like a binky bottle, like oversized bottle. And yeah. And we, we filled it full of ring pops and we were giving them away. So it was hilarious. <laughs> we were dressed, yeah, forever forever lazy. So if you want to see a really ridiculous picture of us, there you go. We shared it. <laughs> yeah, it was it, on the line. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know what that reference comes from, we watched the internship on the way back from our trip. We just got back from California. I had to go out there for a work trip uh, for a week. And of course, Martha loves coming along on our work trips. Yeah. So we were out there and we watched internship and that line is on the line. It's, it's one of our guilty pleasure favorite movies. If you haven't seen the uh, if you haven't seen the internship, mm -hmm. it's a it's Will Ferrell. Nope. Nope. Owen Wilson. Yes. And Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn, and they are inter like mid forties interns at Google. Hilarious! Just go into it with an open mind. Funny movie. Have any? If you guys have seen that at all, put it in the comments. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Let us know if we think we're you know a little ridiculous there. Like Leslie Wine Jones is on here. Hey, Randy Adams, watching from North Carolina. North Carolina. Ah, uh, <laughs> says Air Force guys always need. Air Force guys always need a bottle. Well, you know the Air Force motto. Come on now. We love our little banter. He was Army. It's not his fault. He didn't spell his name right. I can't help him out. I, much love for my brother, but you know. Uh, you know the Air Force motto, right? Screw the ammo. We need toner. <laughs> you know I'm rocking my Air Force shirt. And if you want to, uh, we just made these shirts. They're on our website. So there you go. A little shameless plug. We got some merch. Why don't you show them your shirt since you're there? We got our enjoy every moment. You got it from the shoulder. Huh? Got our little logo on the side. So actually our daughter designed the shirt that I'm wearing and it comes in a hoodie. Ladies, V-necks or just the regular crew neck and then right. unisex or men's size. Men's size, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are all over the place. We have not followed our outline whatsoever. Welcome to Vintage and Couple, y'all. <laughs> so we went from Galveston to the Florida RV Super Show and we have heard comments that I was in my, where was I hiding? You were in our paradigm in the bender lot. So we came out when we could. Chris was working. He couldn't, he didn't get time off for the show. And there's right. a reason why. But we came out when we when we could. Right. We had fun. I had a blast. I got to see so many people. I wish I would have been able to see more folks to spend more time. We we pretty much hung out at the Alliance RV booth. Shocker, right? We're ambassadors. We love Alliance. The team is awesome. But I, I couldn't take the two weeks off because immediately following the um Tampa uh excuse me, the Florida RV Super Show. We all call it the Tampa Show, you know. Mm -hmm. um, we went to Camp Margaritaville. Shocker. For three weeks. What were we doing at Camp Margaritaville? So we, if you've been following us for a while, you know we were contestants on season one of RV on Plug. Yes. Well, we are part of RV on Plug season two, not as contestants, but we're part of the production crew and the demo team. Uh, we wore many hats. Chris was a drone pilot. I took pictures for social media stuff and other duties as a sign. She made me sound like HR, y'all. We were test dummies. It was like, <laughs> hey, go build this game, try it, 
Let me know if you dislocate your wife's shoulder and elbow and whether or not we can do two people in this, which is a true story. Yeah. I landed up in one of the events, which we cannot disclose. We were doing something side by side, and I fell, smashed into Martha's shoulder with my arm. I extended my elbow. And it tweaked my wrist. And it tweaked her wrist. And then once we crawled our gimpy butts out of that thing. Our feedback was, nope, just one person at a time. Yep. And <laughs> it was awesome. So it was fun this year because for us, it was a lot less stress. So, you know, there was no no me blowing up and having a meltdown like you saw in season one because we got to be part of the production crew. Mm -hmm. So we got to help shape kind of the direction of season two. Yeah, and we got to do all the fun stuff. We got to do, you know, without the stress of competing, but right. we made sure that things worked. <laughs> yes, and did what it was supposed to do. Yeah. And if you haven't watched the, um, we'll call it the sizzle reel that they did. Oh, no, first. So the sizzle reel comes out tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Check. It. RV Unplug on YouTube. So you can watch season one on YouTube and on RV TV. Right. But it was awesome. Um, I got to test my drone skills against a or with a actual Hollywood production crew. Yes. And I'm glad to tell you, your boy held up. <laughs> so they've won four Emmys. Yes. And they are a legit film crew the this year. Drone that is the same drone that Chris has, and Chris has his drone pilot license. Yeah, also. part 107. And so I was actually flying drone two for a lot of the production. So a lot of the drone content you'll see on season two was actually filmed by me, spotted by Martha, because she makes sure I don't crash into anything. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, season two is going to be ridiculous in a absolutely wonderful way. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, but a lot of long hours. Of course. Long yeah. Hours. So it's yeah, we were, we were, as the production crew, like the contestants got up and say they had an eight o'clock call time. Our call time is production was like 6 a.m. They were done at say 8 p.m. Our, we were usually done like 9 or 10 p.m. So we worked just crazy long hours to support it, but it was well worth it. And, you know, Todd and Tony do such a good job with RV Unplugged. What do we got here? So Scott said, Todd sucked you in. Such a cool project. Yeah, we're good friends <laughs> with Todd and Tony. They, they did. They, they got us. But, you know, it was worth it. And we will, okay. I suspect we'll be back to season three. They asked us to. Yeah. So the cool part, so you're going to have to watch season two, especially like if you haven't watched season one, watch season one. And then season two, you're going to see both of us throughout the whole season. Mm -hmm. We're actually on screen quite a bit on season two. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Oh, um, and you will see someone in the sizzle reel just a little bit. You'll have to see if you can spot me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so they are going to do, an, uh, just a shameless plug for them, they're going to do a rally at Camp Margaritaville August 5th through 8th, and of course that's in Florida, the Auburndale Margaritaville. So if you guys decide you want to come hang out with Season 2 contestants, I can tell you this, you've already seen like who's going to be on Season 2. Yeah. Um, one of the couples actually came to the rally last year, did the little games at Todd. The RV Unplugged rally. Yep, and they actually became contestants on the show. So if you guys want to be contestants on the show, show up to the rally it's yeah. really worth it and then they literally take people directly from the uh route it's a potential that they could yeah they did they so. did yeah yeah so let's talk about rv creating yet conference boy you've got to talk uh, about getting sucked into uh, something hey john oh. john oh lord he caught us <laughs> he caught us oh he said we did awesome during the filming uh, we, we, were, were, we were happy to be there too. So if you guys don't know, um, Jack, or as you go, but his name's John, but Jack was him and his wife, you know, the Shelby. Yeah. Shelby. Oh, Shelby. were contestants on season two. They were the ones that won the RV on Club rally as contestants and they got to be contestants on the show. So yeah, they were exactly who we were talking about. I didn't realize they were on. Well, thank you for saying that. All right, so we went from RV Unplugged, no, because we stayed at Margaritaville for the RV Creating Yet conference. It was a few days there. So. Well, we, so right after the, um, yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, we, we're not playing. We, There's something we're going to announce at the end that is going to shock a lot of people. We just got back Sunday, so two days ago, and we're in jet lag. Like, we were only in California for a week, and we're back in Florida. Jet lag in mid 40s, it whooped our butt. 
Hey, hey, easy, easy. I'm already calling me Pat Paul. Got ears. Now I'm getting jet lag. Man, we already wear readers. Where is this thing going? <laughs> right. Put the readers on so you can keep track of the comments, ladies. So um, immediately following RV Unplugged, we went to the RV Creating Yet conference. And we were actually, it, this is kind of like, for us, it was a, a really fun thing. Because two years ago, we attended it as... It was their first one that they had. And we attended as, you know... Consumers. <laughs> yeah, consumers. We paid for it. And yeah. uh, we learned quite a bit. And since then, you know, we've worked on growing... Uh, yeah, just learning the whole social media thing. So they asked us to come back and actually present and present on the business side of things, which that was kind of the, the content that we presented on was uh, the social media side and then just kind of working while you're trying to do social media. Because obviously, as you guys know, I still have a full time job. You know, I have a day job. So social media is something we love to do and we yeah. love building the community and getting out there with everybody. But hey, you still got to pay the bills. And the cool part is they had a wide variety of different content creators, RV content creators. So it was great. Like we actually learn others learn from us. So it was a great way to spend a few days. And yeah. of course at Camp Margaritaville. I mean, Who wouldn't be happy? Yeah. I mean, you know, we spend a lot of time there, but we do a lot of we do a lot of projects with them, which is kind we of do. fun. Between uh, Alliance, RV creating, and then us. Yeah. Yeah. If you guys ever decide you want to do anything on the social media side, the RV creating yet conference that they do in Margaritaville every year after the Tampa show is well worth going to. And from what I'm saying, it's, it's not that expensive, but the, the people that they bring in, not us, we're like tiny, but the people they brought in, like um, trying something new. I yeah. mean, they've got almost a million on two different platforms to get their insights yeah. was worth attending. So yeah. So let's talk about the Southern alley rally. Good God. It's at Margaritaville again. I think that's just going to be the theme of today's uh, live. Oh, thank you, Craig. Loves the live stream set. So. Oh, well, Chris, thank you. Chris and I work very, very hard on this. We wanted to have something for that was like visually pleasing, had a little bit of LEDs and you know, just gave us a view. So Martha and I are having a disagreement since since we're gonna we're gonna have to put this out on the line. On the line. On the line. Martha doesn't like this whole cross table thing because we turn the table lengthways, obviously it goes that way. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments now. Do you like us sitting across or do you like us sitting side by side at a table in a traditional? For me, I kind of like this because I can look over at Martha. I can look at you on the camera. I have access to everything as far as the computer for controlling it. So what you're saying is you can look in my big brown eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dear. So let's see what anybody says. I, have, I mean, some people, and if you think it doesn't matter, let us know that too. But Martha says, spin the table the other way. I like it this way. It almost has a little podcasty feel. Like I said, we switched out, got some really nice microphones. So hopefully, uh, yeah. Shelby says side by side. Okay, like that. that's side by side, side by side. All right. Oh, Craig says cross table. Cross table. Well, the reason why is I got to keep turning. Martha's a squirrel. She's over there. I can't behave myself in a spinny chair. <laughs> right? That is that is something that... Uh, Aww. What? This comment's for you, Chris. What is it? Thank you for your service. Oh, well, thank you very much. I, it was my honor and privilege to do it. I love what I did for the country, and um, it was it was definitely worth it. It was definitely the best experience of my life and prepared me for my future. So. And that's how we met. It, you were stationed in Alaska, where I'm from. Well, do you, everybody knows you're a souvenir. I picked up on a TDY. A really long one. But you were. I was stationed there. Yes. It's not a TDY. But yes. yes, Martha is, of course, this. Um, we met in Anchorage, Alaska and fell in love. And we've been together. Oh, my God. June will be 24. Years, well, 25 years together, 24 years married. We literally got married on our one year anniversary. Did you know that? I bet they didn't know that. And we got married in the year 2000. She did that easy so I could keep up with the math. She was looking out for me. That's how I knew I had to marry her, y'all. She's like, if we get married in 2000, you'll never screw up how long you've been married. I'm like, you're brilliant. <laughs> well, if you would have had this way, we would have got married, like, right away. Super right away. I like you. I know, and I like you, too. I, I wanted the big church wedding. My dad walked me down the aisle. Like, the whole, Very traditional. I was like, I'm only getting married once. This is I was there for it, y'all. I was like, courthouse, whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work. The boss lady won, as she always does. Church, right? Is at a proper way. At a proper. proper. Yeah. So the Southern Alley Rally is coming up April fourth through seventh. So we are literally a month out.
from our very first hosted rally. Now, this isn't a Ventures and Couple rally. We were just hosting it. Yeah, Ventures and Couples hosting it. It's the third annual Southern Alley Rally, which is an Alliance regional rally. And all brands are welcome. There's still some tickets left. Yeah, not a whole lot. There's only a few left. But if you're rocking an SOB. Some other brand. You're still welcome to come. Even if you don't have an SOB and you just want to come, they have to be there. And so we have special prices set up for that. But really, it's just about coming together as a community, hanging out, having a good time. This year is going, we have put ourselves into a bad position with this rally. Why is that? Well, we went bananas on sponsorships. Like We use our powers for good and not evil. We worked, <laughs> we got a hold of every every brand that we work with or have worked with and hit them up to say hey by the way give us some free stuff that we can give away at this event yes it is going to be crazy like i'm talking 600 dollars water filtration system they're like mm -hmm. here you go and then we're also going to have some special friends come so matt from matt's rv review is coming as a guest will and, and, jen. Will and jen will be there yep and of course, uh, RV Life with Adrian and Ruth. They're actually, they're RV Life production. So their production company, mm -hmm. they're going to be there as friends, but also as a production. So we're going to do a behind the scenes video on what it is that we do at a regional rally. So yeah. we will put that out for you all to see. And um, if you can make it, if you can't, you'll at least have the video to see kind of what it's all about. You're looking yes. at it, something popped up. And the pet parade. We're going to have a pet parade. So... We collaborated with the Texas Allies. So we shamelessly stole and plagiarized it. We didn't steal, they emailed it to us. Plagiarism was expected. They hooked us up because yeah. the, the Texans, um, those were the folks that we went down to uh yeah, with. Yeah. They have been doing their regional rally for a few years and yeah. they have just they've got it dialed in so what we took is their format their template their ideas and then just kind of tweaked it to make it work for the florida for the southern alley rally but really we're not reinventing the wheel we found things that work really well we've been to their rally we loved it so why we create it so yeah we joke and say it's plagiarism but it's just taking the best practices from somebody else's rally and putting it towards ours and then just really reaching out to the brands and pushing them to say hey come on support the community and take care of those that are taking care of you, right? Because all of us as RV community are spending the money to take care of the brains. They're getting rich off it. Least they can do is give a little back. So we we put a little yeah pressure on that thumb. So and since it's at Camp Margaritaville, Auburndale, um, some of our folks had reached out to us, our allies, and said, "Hey, after Jimmy Buffett passed, they were like, can we do a Jimmy Buffett tribute night?" We're like, of course. So we had Camp Margaritaville designed a special uh, menu, and it's going to be catered, and it's called Cheeseburgers in Paradise. Yes, which I'm super excited about because it's going to be ridiculous. We've got beach balls. We've got little beach ball stress balls. We've got table toppers. I'm like, you name it, we went all out. We've got this amazing retirement um, commemorative thing for Jimmy Buffett that we'll be auctioning off. And we it's, did we did enlist the help of our daughter, who actually will pay her to help. <laughs> and she's helping with it as well. Yes. It, so if you get a chance to come to the rally, it'll be an amazing time. If not, um, we are planning to do it again in 2025. Yes. But keep an eye out. We're going to start doing small, intimate setting um Venture some couple rallies, and we are considering somewhere in Tennessee right now. Yes. I wonder where we'll be next week. Hmm. Uh -huh. hmm. All right, we have to see. We're going to be scouting out areas to yes. have our own Venture some couple tribe gatherings. Yes, we are going all in on community this year. Last year, that was our goal. Um, our daughter's health, of course, took priority over everything, so we made sure we got her right this year. We're going to. We're going to do small things. We're going to go to dinners. We're going to have excursions. We're going to do a little rally. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. This year's going to be a lot of fun. What are yeah. you looking at over there? Oh. It says, can't wait. And she said, we're right. <laughs> Good. I hope so, because it's better than falling asleep. If I look over and I hear, and you're snoring, that doesn't fail you. <laughs> All right. So let's tell them about something else that they probably don't know. And this is something we we just recently started putting content back out about it a couple of years ago we started when we first started ventures and couple we put out content kind of about our our health journey and our fitness and don't worry we're not going to get on a soapbox about this but i wanted to make sure that you know those of you have reached out to us and asked kind of like what what happened what's going on so um 
eight years ago, I was diagnosed as type 2 diabetic and was sent home with like a pharmacy worth of drugs. A brown bag full of medicine. Yeah. And I, was put, I was put on an aspirin regimen for my heart. I had an amazing doctor uh, with a VA, which a lot of people have problems with VA, but I had a good experience with my doctor told me straight up. He's like, you change what you eat and you exercise or I'm going to medicate you until you die. And oh, by the way, here you are in your mid thirties and you got to go on an aspirin regimen because you are ripe for a heart attack. So I took that really serious. So you'll see content on there about us working out. That's kind of the backstory behind it is like Martha was, what was pre-diabetic. I mean, she was like one point away from her A1C being full blown diabetic at the and time. I had no clue. Her doctors didn't tell her, so mine did. So we spent the next year really working hard to fix that. So I got off all meds. Well, I am very glad to say that it has officially been seven years since I've had to take any medication for our diabetes. So if you see content about us working out, please don't take it as us being um, snobby or trying to rub it in anybody's face. This is about us trying to really tell people, look, you can beat diabetes and go ahead. Well, so just so you know, we're not selling any programs about no. it or anything. Uh, this is us just trying to live a healthier lifestyle. Both of us have dropped over 75 pounds. Unfortunately, life happened to me. Uh, I do have eating disorders. Did. And no. I did. I did. And, yeah. uh, and I had two major ankle surgeries. So my weight has kind of like roller coaster, yo yoed around. And then my mom passing the way she did. Right. So it's, and then, I'm an emotional eater. So I've been working on that. Mm -hmm. And I, my weight's been coming down. I've gone down two whole sizes since last summer. Yep. And I'm just still working on it. So I'm happy with my progress. I'm doing it the right way, eating right and exercising. So if you see me uh, putting up a lot of reels of exercising, running, like all that, I do appreciate you guys' support because mm -hmm. it helps me be accountable for working out. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And not every day is perfect mm -hmm. and not every meal is perfect. And, you know, that's just kind of the reality of life, but we kind of want to share with you kind of like, you know, it, it's, there's a lot more content that has been out there recently about it. So we wanted to just kind of really put that out there, but uh, Martha did something for the first day. Oh, wait, wait a, minute, wait a minute. I'm going to bust you out. Oh. I'm going to bust her out first. <laughs> so we are training for a 10 mile run with Disney. You've probably seen that you follow us on socials, right? So we're training for a 10 mile run. Martha, my lovely, beautiful bride is not a runner. I'm Forrest Gump. I love running. I've never been a runner. I love lifting, but I've never been. A so we're work. We worked through a 5k program to get her up to being able to run a 5k before we stepped into a 10 mile program, which we're running now. So Martha, she don't do anything halfway y'all. It is all in 2.99 miles of her 5k and she's just struggling. And she's like, I got, I got to get through my 5k. So she pushes herself literally it was 2.99 because we saw and then she pushes herself to the limit on the treadmill and we have a treadmill that doesn't have a motor so you run it runs you stop it stops there's no help there martha barf all over the garage i'm not even playing not all over the garage I'm, put, oh, no, I'm putting that on the interwebs and the best part is she looks at me in between her yakking and i won't make the sound and make y'all sick but in between her yakking she looks at me and goes help me and i'm like what do you want from me your hips pulled back okay, and i'm like get a towel he's like you you're doing great i'm like you, you asshole <laughs> i was like my baby killed it i was so proud because she put a hundred percent effort in and it pushed her to that limit now put on her ten percent in it gets you cleaned it all up yeah i did it's you know happy wife happy life y'all so I got to tell you, she's been putting in the work hard. So the 10 mile run we're practicing on Martha, just for the first time the other day, ran a six, six and a half miles, six and a half miles. She killed it. And guess what? She has to run Saturday. Eight. Friday. Friday. You're right. Friday. So she's going to run eight miles on Friday. So we've got, uh, what, just about a month. No. So April 21st is our 10 mile run Disney. Yeah, so we got about six weeks left yeah. of the training program. Um, but yeah, so then because we have no sense immediately following that, we're going to be starting a training for a half marathon. There's people yeah. laughing at you on the interwebs, honey. Yeah. So we're saying you're doing amazing, Martha. Oh, that is sweet. Thank you. Way to go, Martha. You look great. Thank you, Siri. 
Oh, there's Goldie. So Goldie is my sister-in-law. Hey, fam. She's married to my oldest brother. That's right. So that's our family. There you go. Oh, and Don's on here. Hey, Don. Hey, Don. Go Don Michael. is our Fam Alley Disney family. Oh, no, they're family. They're family. Yep. Don, Kevin, Caitlin are family. Mm -hmm. They can't shake us that easy. <laughs> so what else you got on there? Oh, hold on. Go back up here. I see something from mm -hmm. Rodney. Thank you for inspiring me to make changes about my own health. Thank you, oh, Gus. Thank you. you know, in all seriousness, guys, if you want to know, like, literally what we've done and how we've changed it, we will tell you everything. We're not doctors, but we can tell you what has worked for us. And it, it's, like I said, I'm eight years into being a diabetic. I'm seven years kind of, we'll call it clean and sober from all meds. So um, what we've done is working, and I'm happy to share it. And it, like I said, it's not a, you know, some super restrictive thing. It's just kind of common sense it's, changing. It's no magic pill, no nothing like that. And no programs, we're not selling anything. Awesome, Rodney, great. I'm sorry to hear you're type two, but thank you for changing, you know. Um, you'll hear that a lot when we're running and so you know i'm i'm pretty vocal i'm like F diabetes beat this disease because uh, unfortunately diabetes in in one way or another has impacted both of martha's and my family my grandmother went blind her dad had neuropathy in their in his feet and my nana and her, his mom yeah. yeah my mom ended up with a uh, amputated foot like it, it has jacked my family and martha's family mm -hmm. up in the long run so we want to make sure we do everything we can to try to beat that so we want we're along we're here to help out any way we can when it comes to that and the whole running for me so i've had two major ankle surgeries the second surgery i had was in 2019 i severed a tendon it retracted up my leg inside about five inches yeah. so my surgeon didn't think i would be able to run again um, but she showed him <laughs> he's like hold my puke buggy <laughs> The, the biggest thing for me is just like getting into exercise again, getting on a regular routine, changing what I eat, and right. just building up to it. Yeah, and taking our time. Yeah. And recovery methods. So there's somebody else in our house that's on the struggle bus with her weight, and I won't call her a fat girl, but she did get put on a fat girl diet. Why don't you tell them who I'm talking about? So Miss Callie. Yes. Miss Callie is up to 118 pounds. She's supposed to be about 100 pounds. She's a little thick. She's a little too thick, which is not good for her hips. No. So she's had two ACL surgeries. She's almost eight. Uh, so she broke a toenail, her back toenail. It not broke it, like ripped it clean the heck off, jumping onto the bed of all things. So for the past three weeks, we haven't walked her. And then we left for a week. Mm -hmm. For California. For California. So California. like, and our daughter loves her with cookies and treats and snackies. <laughs> so Callie has to go on the she got to go on the fat girl diet too she got to step off her foskey paws but other than her being a little thick she's healthy no arthritis yeah and doc's telling us that we could expect another at least another three years out of her which is really good when it comes to rottweiler so yeah. that so i mean if we can get 11 years out of her that would be fantastic she's a, she's getting to be up there but and if you've met Callie, you know she's got quite the personality and she's she can be vocal when she wants to and she's sassy She's like her mama. She's a girl. <laughs> she is. She really, really is. So yeah, yeah. Callie, Callie's here. She's just sleeping underneath the table. Shees like, if we, last last live we had her outside and all I heard was her crying and oh, howling. And I'm like, just go underneath the table too. She's snoring. <laughs> is she snoring right now? I didn't catch that. Yeah. So where else can they find Venturesome Couple? This is something we haven't talked a whole lot about, but like super, super excited. RV TV. What is that? RV television. So we have a venturesome couple show, which is um, I, Ella Media takes our content, edits it, and then produces it for national television. So we are now on Roku, Fire Stick. We're on like 70 some uh, channels across the US, mm -hmm. and they're working on a deal with uh, Direct TV. Direct TV. And they just went with another one. I think it was like Live Now or something, another streaming platform. So RV TV, so RV Television. So if you're not a consumer of YouTube, probably wouldn't be on here. But if you're interested, there's actually a 24 hours a day television channel for RVers that has all kinds of stuff on And we have two half hour shows, which is pretty mind blowing. Yeah, Tuesdays and Sundays, we are on there, Venturesome Couple for 30 minutes. So that's pretty freaking cool. 
So New Horizons giving us some tips. So they said that their Tucker loves raw apples and carrots and sweet potatoes. Oh, oh that I thank you. That is a fantastic. No, we don't have apples in the house. But Cali can eat them. Cali can eat them. I'm allergic to apples. Yeah. Just but one we have carrots. Things. Yeah, absolutely. But potatoes. doesn't mean the dog can't have them. I just won't eat them. Yeah. The joys of having it. So what else do we have on there? What does it say? Go look at the picture. I saw something right there. Yep. Okay, so Ronnie said, go look at the picture. I sent, I sent you, you and you will be happy. All right. Hey, did he send it on my phone or where'd you send it, Rodney? Because my phone's right here, but I'm not. All I see is work emails by the billions. Work never ends. We'll have to check it on. Let's see if it came in on email. All right. Well, you, I'll keep going. You look for that, honey. Uh, where did it pop up to say don't forget please like oh yeah please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed and you know i'm we're trying something different we're streaming on which platforms right now uh facebook and youtube That's youtube it, yeah. all right next time we're gonna think we're gonna throw in linkedin too. try to play around on that see how that goes and instagram and insta 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 so venture some couple let's talk about why we've been what we're going to do and why we're changing it. So I'll, I'll give you a hint. We are going back to Elkhart, Indiana this weekend. Yes. What are we doing? There? So we are going to pick up our paradigm. Yep. Cause we told you, I went up there for Manny Petty. I literally had a very small rubber seal issue that I wanted to get fixed and it just needed to be done there. I, I don't know. I'm just, I couldn't say anything bad because I don't have anything bad about dealers or anything, but we just trust Alliance wholeheartedly. So we like to take our trailer up there when we get the chance. So uh, yeah. there's also another reason. So we're heading up this weekend and we are going to do. Oh, this is the part where it gets good. Oh, go for it. No, go for it. No, take it. Just doing the drum roll for you. We are selling our paradigm. Yes. So if you know anybody that is looking for an Alliance Paradigm and a 340RL. Now, not just any Alliance Paradigm 340RL. The most modified Alliance Paradigm 340RL that is featured on EnjoyTheJourney.live back when it had just 65 mods. And since then, we have way more than that. Yes. So if you know anybody that is interested, we are going to be selling our fifth wheel. And it is going when we sell it, we're going to leave it as is, meaning... The massive solar system mm -hmm. is staying. The, the day and night shades that are custom from MCD factory are staying. Yes. Yes. Uh, the solar system, like I said, is going to be there. So 1,200 amp hours of batteries, 2,280 watts of solar on the roof. Possibly my baby Traeger. The baby Traeger will stay. The more <laughs> I trays will stay. The independent 8,000 pound independent suspension, 8,000 pound D Max disc brakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all everything. We are the custom desk that just matches so beautifully. Did it the exact same counters as the rest of the trailer the mm -hmm. alliance built for us so yes we are selling our beautiful alliance paradigm so if you know anybody interested uh, we have made sure that it is 100 percent perfect and excellent condition turnkey that is why it went up to alliance because we want to make sure that when we sell this that everything is right because our name and alliance's names on it and they're doing the things like changing the seals and all that like yeah they literally the put new bulb seals on it new swiper seals like they're going through a top to bottom front to back to make sure this trailer is in perfect condition and we are selling it we own it this wasn't given to us so yeah. we are selling it we purchased it so if so what are we going to do now now that we're going to sell our beautiful alliance paradigm 340 rl it is a 2021 model but we bought it brand new in 22. and we're the only owners mm -hmm. and everything that has been done on it is <laughs> Very well documented. Yes, you guys all know that. And we're both registered RV techs, but you guys know Chris is super mechanically inclined. And then Alliance has been the only one that has warranted anything on our trailer. They're the only ones that touched our trailer from a I, work perspective. Except for Lippard when they when you broke her little leg. Well, you know, that's how we got the name the Black Pearls. I ripped the leg off of the the Lippard mm -hmm. auto stable or the auto leveling system. I ripped the rear landing jack off it. Literally on the first day we drove it. But not any tech fixed it. It was actually Lippert tech. Yeah. For the Lippert. Yeah, the one out of ten. So, so let's see. Well, before we continue on, let's see what the reactions oh, are. Here's my brother from another mother. 
What's going on, hey, Ron? <laughs> we miss you guys. So I grew up with the Chapman brothers. So there's three brothers, older sister, and they are my brothers. So it was like me having five brothers. I love them. And she's the only girl. Well, the Chapmans have a sister. But, but I'm the baby sister of were... all five brothers. My two brothers and the Chapman brothers. I would have not wanted to date Martha when she had all her brothers around. I only had to deal with two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Because the other ones at that time, I think, were in Oregon, weren't they? They lived in, or maybe it was Nebraska. But, the, you know, typical family, we move everywhere. We've all been everywhere. So, yeah. So, what, what are the comments? Oh, I want to hear. This is like my Buzz and Woody. Yes. Possibly Aaron. Yes. We will leave Buzz, Woody. <laughs> That's negotiable. You can have Zerg. Yeah, we put Zerg on there. We did put Zerg on there. So, yes. Uh, and Jesse. And Jesse. And, but, no, I know, in all three, since you guys have seen, like, how decked out this trailer is we're sad to sell it but we're super excited about what's coming next so let's see what else they've got on there i sent the picture and i am so go go to oh. um here I'll pull it up on you let's see what ronnie sent on there thank you for uh, letting us know where to go we're gonna look here you got it coming up here i guarantee she'll get it done faster than i will because I am not. Ah. Did you beat me? Did yes. you beat me? Oh. Oh, wow. So let's see if we can get this up there. I hope that's not too fuzzy. There you go. Anybody know who that is? I mean. The guy in the middle. <laughs> yeah, not the tall, goofy one on the what would be the left for you guys. Or, or the little. Or the hot chick in the. Yeah, it's, it's a hot chick. The little midget. <laughs> vertically challenged. Vertically so challenged. That is Rich Frawny, and we've actually met him on numerous occasions. We went to the CrossFit Games. And he's just a really nice guy. He is. He's like one of the fittest guys in CrossFit. Yes. So, yeah, that was, yeah. And we worked out with him again this year, or last year at the CrossFit Games in Wisconsin, which we had a blast up there. Yeah. So, what does it think? All right. So, what, so, Curtis wants to know what's next. Yeah, we haven't told anybody what's next. Well, well, I, I mean, we'll, well, we'll, 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 we'll a handful if you're at the. So no, well, well, I mean, if you've been paying attention to the videos, you might actually be able to oh, thank you. decipher. Thank you guys. Wow, thank you. That's incredible. Right. So what's next? Um, so someone's guessing a vow. <laughs> it's not a valor. If Martha. Her way would be a 42 v 13 because that's what we had previously but honestly i don't want something that large because the type of travel i want to do next is going to require a different type of recreational vehicle we oui. we oui. <laughs> always corrects me y'all i mean just they're in the whole world to see just... <laughs> so what is next is venturesome couple going to continue to rv yes is Venturesome Couple going to continue to be Venturesome Couple? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we are going to continue RVing, and we're actually going to downsize. We are. We are. We are going smaller. You're kicking the camera, Mr. Oh, sorry. Big footed problems, y'all. There's not an earthquake going on here. Not in Florida. <laughs> and that would probably mean, like, something went really, really bad. All right, so, we are going to go to a bumper pole. You just put that out there on the whole well, world to see. We have like three people that already. Craig says a Delta. We'll let's we'll see what's the next one. RV plus three says a bumper pool. Yeah, and then going to a Delta. Yes, so we are going to go with an Alliance Delta travel trail. We are, mm -hmm. and we are going to keep our dually. Yes. Which is going to all right. So you guys, you guys got to tell me if I'm if Martha's right here. So Martha tells me that there's going to be compensation jokes about driving a dually, pulling a bumper pull, you know, that whole Sorry about your stuff, bro. Stuff, bro. Yeah. So I, I see it as a business decision. It would cost me way more money to get a three quarter ton or a one ton single rear wheel versus what we paid for the dually. So I'm like, screw it, let's keep it. Cause I had some really cool ideas on what we can do with the dually. We ordered our dually brand new before they jacked the price up on it. We love this. We custom ordered it. Yeah. And it was before all that craziness yeah. at COVID before all the chip shortages. Mm -hmm. So we, we're in it right now. 
and it, I, I was looking at one ton single rear wheels and I was like, yeah. 90,000 flinging dollars? No way. I'm yeah. cheap. Yeah, we can go like 40 on our Well, hello. I can't wait. I don't know if you, oh, yeah, you can yeah. see her. Hi. Come here. You gotta stand up. No. Yeah. So. Anyways, we don't want to, we're going to be going to a bumper pool. Yes. Um, we are going to try to do something. We're going to try to partner with a couple big companies to try to do something completely unique. Um, of course, we're working with Alliance RV. Yes. And if you know us, it's not going to be a bone stock uh, Delta. Are you going to go ahead and just tell the whole world what kind of, what model we're going to get? And Nope. You're going to have to wait until the next one on that one because we're still working behind the scenes with Alliance. We're working with some of our partners and sponsors. I mean, obviously, we're using our powers for good and evil. We want to show you how. Good and evil? Oh, I'm sorry. For good, not evil. <laughs> <laughs> we're not doing anything evil, y'all. It's not that kind of party. Okay. Good, not evil. Sorry. But I just, no, I'm just really excited because we've had a travel trailer before. Mm -hmm. And Loved liked it. it, but when we decided to go full time RV living, we sold it to Carol in Alaska. Yep. And yeah, and we yeah. we bought the gigantic Valor, and yeah. we love that. It was fine, but when the and season it, and our our season changed, yeah. and we bought the home base in Florida after almost a year. We decided to downsize, and we're like, you know what? Let's downsize again. Yeah. So, so this is but work. we want to we want to be able to bring content forward that shows that like. I love the Paradigm. It is the most luxury fifth wheel that we've ever owned, mm -hmm. and it is amazing. But I want to show, like, you can still travel, like, in our case, 90% of the year in a travel trailer, and we're going to be able to do it in style, and we're going to show you how to do it in a way that you don't overload your trailer. You still get all the luxury that you want, and you can do it at an entry point that is significantly cheaper than it is for, like, a fifth wheel. And, yes, we are 100% buying this. Nobody's giving us anything. But if they wanted to. <laughs> yeah, if Jim's still on here, you want to hit up Ryan and Coley. They want to give me a trailer. I'm not ashamed. Uh, Mr. Belletti. <laughs> Questions. Right. But no, we're going to be, we are going to a Delta travel trailer. And we will tell you which floor plan later. But we're super excited about that because it is going to change how we do it. And go ahead. You, I mean, you were trying to talk about work a little bit. Yeah. So Chris had some changes with work. I mean, if you saw our video last fall, that corporate America is killing the RV life. There is truth to that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, 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 a lot of companies are forcing people back into the building. Um, I'm very fortunate that it has worked out fine. Um, everything has been okay. I'm allowed to stay remote. Um, I do have to go back to California quite a bit now. In the future, I think it could increase. Um, but so far, so good. Everything looks good. So we're going to be able to continue to do what we like to do and travel how we want to travel. And my work is supportive of our crazy okay. lifestyle. And we wanted to change to a travel trailer actually at the end of the summer last year. We but did. it just, the timing was not right with our daughter's health. We had to spend a little more time here. And just the sun, moon, and stars were not aligned. And they are now. Yeah. So again, if you know anybody or you are interested in a 340RL, we are not going to be gouging. We are going to give it for a very fair price and we are leaving all the crazy upgrades we have on there. So somebody's going to walk away with the best decked out paradigm in the country, in my opinion. Yes. No question about it, in my opinion. So yeah. Well, uh oh, what does that say? Hi, baby. <laughs> Well, hi, Danny. Oh, yeah. it was probably to Cali. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's uh, said my. Oh, nice. Yeah, I, Martha loves the forty-two. That is definitely her favorite. I do. I love it. Um, it's just for us. It's like a different time of season. I mean, this is going into our fourth RV. I know it's yeah. crazy. I can't believe that. This one's going to be, well, I, I won't tell the size because that'll pretty much give it away. It's going to be shorter than our Alliance Paradigm 340RL, which is just under 38 feet. Right. So our travel trailer is going to be shorter than that. There you go. Tells people a whole lot. So what's the, um, where's the next thing that we want to make sure everybody can see us and we can do something together? Where can we get together? I mean, we got the Southern Alley Rally, but we need to figure out from there. Let's see. We are going to go to the Texas rally oh yeah, yeah, yeah. rally that's going to be uh the first of may yes and then we're going to go to the alliance national rally of course this is our fourth national rally with alliance we've been 
we've been Alliance RV owners for three years. So this is our fourth rally. We went in 21, 22, 23, and now 24. Wow, that's wild because the company has only been around since 2019. But they started their first in 2020. Wow, we, we're OGs. Yeah. <laughs> and that of course, uh, and it's been a year and a half since we became brand ambassadors for Alliance RVs. Yes. And as you all know, because you guys reach out and ask us all kinds of questions about it, <laughs> we stand behind it. They are a fantastic company that takes care of their people, they take care of their products, and they just, the service is incredible. I, that's what we can't say enough of. So if you are in the RV market, of course, that's a good place to start, in my opinion. And definitely, you guys know to reach out to us, ask us any questions mm -hmm. about RVs. Um, we love giving tours. and. Yeah, well, what you see is what you get. You know mm -hmm. that you, when, when we meet you all in public and in person, it's, you know, who we are is who we are. There's no persona, no facade, no persona. Yeah. It's just our goofy butts. As we, I have recently started telling people, we're two goobers with a camera that we, <laughs> we're having a good time doing it. So was there any questions that popped up in there? And oh, Danny said definitely to Callie. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to judge you saying that to Martha. I knew, you know. Well, I was thinking Caleb was on here, and she was like, hey, "Oh, they you talking?" To, yeah. yeah. So Caleb's Danny's husband. Yes, that makes sense too. Which I'm excited. They're going to be at the Southern Valley Rally. Yes. So, what other exciting news do we have that's coming up in the near future? I don't know. Oh, tell them. You tell them. Do tell them. So we ease. We ease. We ease starting a. Woo! So there's a lot of people that reach out to us and ask us questions about like the business side of things, not like social media business, but like remote working and corporate America and like how do you chase your corporate side of your things plus being an executive, which I... Or and even Alaska travel. Yeah, and Alaska travel. So we are going to be starting, or we have started, we just haven't published it yet, the Wandering and Working Podcast. You got the sign? You got the sign. And I said it backwards. Working and wandering. Working and wandering. That's going to be our podcast. So we are working with a company right now to build out our website the way we want you to go all in on our website. It's going to be really, really nice. So we are going to do working and wandering. And it's going to be more long form conversations about like in depth. If you want to get into the nomadic lifestyle, how you can do it and make a very high six figure salary and live the life of your dreams while still traveling wherever you want to go. Uh, not everything has to be um work camp or yeah and not to say yeah. there's anything wrong with it because that, that i actually would love to do that at some point i would love to do it i think it'd be fun but if you're in that place in your life where you still have to work to work towards retirement mm -hmm. um we want to really help push people in that direction and show you how to do it and you know what we've learned along the way what's mm -hmm. working what's not and then like martha said uh we're going to be going all in on a very, very in-depth um, docu-series on Alaska. Yes. All planning and everything. So that'll be worth it. So if you're if you're into podcasts, look out for Working and Wandering. It's coming. Yeah. It's going to be every Wednesday at 5 p.m. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're really excited. Um, we've been wanting to do this for a long time. And it's just, like I said, the sun, moon, and stars were not aligned. Yeah. Uh, having your, you know, our only child have brain surgery was scary. And. It just, you know, things are calming down. Yep, life's good. So we're mm -hmm. we're we're busy and we're looking forward to it. So working and wandering is coming. Uh, it'll be a it'll be a lot of fun. And if you guys have things you want to discuss, if you have topics you want to join, it's going to be a four person podcast or up to mainly it'll be Martha and I. But yeah. um, if you want to come on as a guest, you don't have to physically have to be here. You can we work with not work with, but we utilize StreamYard. So we'll be able to do our podcast from anywhere you sit. So if you want to come on and talk about, you know, business stuff, pick our brain, have yeah. questions, travel things. We always are looking for people to come on and have a conversation about it. And it's, you know, it's going to be like this. It's going to be fun. It's going to be low key. Yeah. And you can be wherever you're at. You don't have to have anything special. You can do it on your cell phone. And it's just with us. And that's a, somebody wrote us a big story there. What do we got here? Oh, awesome. awesome. And if you have questions or, you know, kind of what's worked and what hasn't as you're prepping for this, let us know. Um, we have learned a lot. We've done a lot of things right. We've done a lot of things wrong. And, and trial and error. Yeah, that's it. I'm not really safe. 
Well, wrong in the sense that we, we just... things that haven't worked. Yeah, and you learn from them, and yeah. you find better ways to do it. So that's what I mean when I say wrong. <laughs> Look at her going all HR on me, y'all. I used to be a recruiter. She's I'm telling me all her. HR. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we are at one hour. Holy moly, time flies when you're having fun. All right, recap. The great holiday. Yes. A lot of get-togethers. Yes. Okay, with Joe, RV on plug. Season two's coming out, so watch for that. It starts in May. The um, Southern Alley Rally, April fourth through seventh. Come, come, hang out with us, even if you are not an SOB or you are. Well, and there's um, the option too. If you say you're staying in the surrounding area, you don't want to stay at Camp Margarita. You, you can just come. You just come on the day. There's tickets for just the day. Mm -hmm. And we are selling our trailer, so please share this. Hit up your friends. Let them know that a bitch couple is selling their trailer and we would love, love, love to sell it to somebody. And we will coordinate a amazing amount of training that goes along with it. So they yeah. will be very comfortable with it when they buy it. And we hope that whoever it goes to, whoever purchases it. Allie says she got to go to the bathroom, you know. <laughs> go on. Go. Go. No. No, she just wanted to attend. Okay. Sorry about that, y'all. But it does have it does have a massive solar system, so it's good for boondocking. Yep, but uh, share it, let us know, DM us, uh, email us, whatever, reach out and let us know if you're interested or you know somebody that is, because we would rather sell it to somebody in our community yeah. um, and they will cherish it and love it and be able to enjoy it. Yeah, and then merch on our website. Oh yeah, so um, as you can share, the veteran, so I'm putting every branch of service up there, it's not gonna be just Air Force. On the back is our oath of enlistment that we all take when we join the military. And um, he's telling me to look at the camera. Yeah, he's so looking at the. I'm looking at you. Oh. But yeah, so if you if you're interested in supporting Ventures and Couple, any of our veteran shirts, so like our red shirt Friday that we do remember everyone deployed, and our veteran shirts all go to veteran organizations. So we love to support um, Soldiers Heart. Thank you. Through South Central Foundation. I always want to call it Soldiers and Sailors. That's not what it is. It's Soldiers Heart. So it's a nonprofit. I used to work for the company South Central Foundation, and this is one of their programs. So it supports uh, veterans, first responders, um, dispatchers, yes, like everybody. So medics, like it's anybody that's in the service industry that potentially could have challenges. They have retreats, getaways, group therapy, and it's just made a world of difference for people who we know personally. Yeah. So that's who we support. That's where all of our fundraising efforts go to. And that's where a lot of our get together this year is going to be. Um, we're going to do things. We're going to try to sell tickets, not for us to literally give all the money to charity. Um, we are blessed beyond belief. We want to continue to put that forward and, and give back to those that give so much to us when it comes to our freedom. So it means the world to us. But I think it's time. All right. So stay tuned. We have more exciting stuff coming up besides that, our podcast. And we're going to be doing monthly lives. Thank God our life is stabilized, so we will be on monthly. Or maybe more. We'll see. Yeah. But thank you all for joining us. Thank you all for being here. And don't and forget to hit the like button. We appreciate that. Leave a little comment. You know, uh, what is this? What does our friend talk say? C4YT? Yeah, comment for <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> C4YT. Yeah, for on YouTube. any of our videos, feel free to leave that. Yeah, there you go. So thank you. Have a wonderful night, everybody. And we look forward to hanging out soon.